All right, it is Friday, September the 7th, 2012. Uh, this is Thomas Keegan with LibertarianProgressive.com. If you've seen any of our other interviews, you know what we're doing. We're interviewing independent third-party candidates for 2012 who are going to be on, on the ballot. And today we have the uh, pleasure of talking with um, Blanca, um, Blanca Guerrera and um, out of the uh, District 3 in Arizona. And she is a libertarian. Um, she's running against a, uh, a Republican and a, a Democrat, um, a Rawl. And uh, basically, so she's really the only um, viable alternative uh, uh, candidate to select. And so let's hear some of her issues, what got her motivated, um, and just a little bit about her. She's also a veteran. And um, so, um, Blanca, it's a, it's a pleasure. Uh, good to talk to you today. What got you motivated to put yourself out there to run for Congress to represent people instead of, um, you, you know, I guess uh, this November um, you, you might be going to Congress this year and uh, along with a wave of independent third-party candidates because of the, um, uh, the, 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 the ups, how people are upset with the two major parties that we have. And, and, and good... Uh, I guess where you're in Arizona, so good morning to you, um, Blanca. Good morning, Tom. Thank you for the call. It's my pleasure to be with you uh, this morning. What got me motivated to run for Congress is the extreme candidates that we have. We have the incumbent, Raul Vihadva, which I appreciate in you know, representing Southern Arizona. He's done a good job for quite some time. Uh, but just like I said, he's done quite some time. He's been um, uh, representing Arizona. I don't believe um, in long-term uh, lifers. Our, our representatives should represent us. Um, you know, I, I believe in term limits. So for Congress, it would be three years and then allow another individual to represent the state. Um, we have a candidate that is on the Republican Party that has taken a, a very extreme position, um, which uh, actually motivated me to run. Uh, that I believe our representatives have uh, are so polarized right now that they have uh, represented the parties instead of the people. I want to represent the people. I want to help our government get back on track and uh, get it back to the people instead of uh, the parties, the DNC or the RNC, pulling strings on their representatives. And um, uh, you know, we, we need a, a third party in there so uh, the people can be represented. Yeah, it's kind of like the Wizard of Oz. I mean, when you really pull back the curtains, I mean, the Republicans and Democrats, they have, well, actually, according to the Gallup poll, a 10% approval rating, so they're even smaller than the wizard. And um, and, and and there's record numbers of people um, registered as independent third-party candidates. I mean, if there was ever a year to, you know, uh, take advantage of the opportunity um, that, that you would have as a, um, a, a incoming uh, uh, competition. I mean, this this would have to be it. I mean, people don't want them anymore. Um, Absolutely agree. Yes, I agree. Yeah, I, 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 I honestly, I, I, I would almost vote for you just almost in the same way I criticize people voting for Republicans and Democrats just because you're not one of them. But at least I'm going to call here first and see, you, you know, what some of your issues are. Is we don't want to just elect anybody. I mean, someone who's credible. And now you said you were a, 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 a veteran too. Is that correct, uh, Blanca? Yes, that is correct. I'm an Air Force veteran. I was stationed at Vandenberg Air Force Base for strategic uh, defense. All right, great. And um, and so let's go through some of the issues. Um, like uh, one of the biggest issues. Uh, that um, keeps exponentially growing is our military budgets um, at the expense, I guess, of um, our own national debts and our the interest that we pay on it and um, and etc. Um, and I mean, if 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 we can't fight special interests, then how can we expect to fight any war? Um, and uh, and if we don't know all of what's going on because nothing's fully audited and we don't have records. 
um, and all that information's top secret, how can we really make an informed decision? Uh, those are just some questions, but I don't want to, you, you know, frame any kind of question any certain way, except that, um, you know, just on your own thoughts, I mean, what what is your position on, you know, I guess you could say military, defense, foreign policy, um, and then that ar arena there? Well, I, I think the title um, is, is proper. We need to concentrate and um, use our budget on defense, not offense. We don't need to be going and invading other countries, especially right now at um, our weakened state. We have uh, removed our military individuals from foreign countries, uh, trying to bring them back home as soon as possible. But our budget and our, actually our nation has been weakened to the point where we just have to um, get back uh, inside uh, of our nation and start rebuilding our strength. But it definitely should be, our budget should concentrate on defense and not offense. Yeah, and, um, and, and it's it, it just by the way, I, I mean, um, I mean. So, is, would you say your district's more Republican, more Democrats? I guess the incumbent was Democrats. I, I mean, so. yes, the, the, my district is is definitely Democrat. There's uh, 160,000 uh, registered Democrats. There is uh, just under 60,000 Republicans. Um, the ind uh, the Independents and Libertarians have increased. Um, just just a little bit more uh, yeah. than half of the Democrats. So. Okay. Um, so uh, actually, but but you're also an individual. I mean, you're you don't you're. Um, well, one of your, I guess, your issues is they're putting their party above the uh, country. I mean, um, and we don't want to do the same thing um, e either. Uh, and so, uh, but, but it, it is important to have a good organization behind you, I mean, especially if you're a third-party candidate, uh, you, you know, a lot of times, unless if you're like Ross Perot or something, like someone like that, but uh, which most of us aren't. Um, but um, but we you know can send people there that that do actually represent us. It's just kind of like if we were making like a legal. It is actually a legal decision. I mean, it's just same way like um, you know book writers, movie actors. They have agents that that represent them, or most of them do. And um, and if that agent's um, you, you know uh, botched up like a million dollar deal or something, or or totally got them. Um, uh, blacked out of the industry, but uh, you know that that's kind of the like the representation. I feel like uh, we we've mostly been getting. I mean, we haven't been really getting the uh, the, 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 the the you know the the, the well, I don't know the sharpest sticks in the barn. Is that a metaphor? I'm not even sure if that is. But um, <laughs> yes, it, it's uh, now. What about the um the the war on drugs? Uh, I mean, that's. There, there's so many different aspects to it. You could talk about the hypocritical aspect. You could talk about the pharma aspect. You could talk about the incarceration aspect. And there's probably more. But, but just as an overall, I'm just throwing out the word out there, drug policy, drug war, war on drugs. That's been going on for about 20 years since the Nixon administration. What, what, what are your, um, your thoughts, your feelings uh, you know, on, on that? I believe that our government has, um, has to create some kind of drug legalization for the reason um, that once we start um, legalizing, especially um, medical marijuana, uh, we will start reducing the effects that the cartels have in our country. You have to um, question, uh, you have to ask our government is why haven't they done anything to reduce um, the participation or the force that the cartels from another country have here in the U.S. Um, and I believe is because if we take down the cartel, if our government takes down the cartel or stops their income, then it um, actually will take their employment away. I believe it is some type of a job security that um, our representatives have not come up with um, a proper way to, to deal with the drugs and the war on drugs. Um, if we were to uh, take steps to legalize, um, for example, marijuana, um, it would, uh, the government would have a revenue. 
okay? They would have an income from the purchase. It would take the drugs that are so easily accessible on the streets from our kids. Um, and then once again, we don't have issues with, uh, with the cartels. Yeah, it, 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 and even if it's, um, I mean, I personally, even if it's, you know, described as medical marijuana or marijuana, I mean, it grows naturally. And uh, and, and here's a real issue. I, I would, I'd, I'd put it more of a uh, human debate personally. Like um, like everyone, if 50% of the people in this country has stated in polls that they've tried it, so, I mean, you might disagree with it or not, but, I mean, you have to know a loved one. Um, if, if that those are the true statistics, which I believe they are, um, then what are you really saying here? Not you, um, uh, Blanca, but but just a general open-ended question is that um, uh -huh. is that I mean either we're prepared to lock up half the country, um, which you know I don't think we are, um, but but we're getting right. there because we have the highest incarceration rate, or. Um, we're going to, I mean, what, what should be the real punishment if there should be any punishment? I mean, if there's a victimless crime of someone smoking a joint, um, or, or, you know, having a brownie or whatever, um, I mean, it, it's, should they really spend time in prison for that? So if, if everyone's first initial answer in the back of their head is, is no, um, or the majority of the people is no, not for that, then, then really what should we do? Uh, I mean, community service, I mean, what are we going to ha have a, uh, marijuana police? I mean, so if, if if that's the case, then 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 I think the logical conclusion is that um, it, it shouldn't be a uh, something handled in our ju justice system. I mean, it, either we're all equal under the law or, or not. And, and 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 seriously, locking up half the population doesn't seem you know very pr practical. But that'd be the only way to have equal justice under the law. You're right. Either that's that or let the other people free. Right. At the same time, you have you know you got to realize that that uh, our prison systems are now private, uh, for-profit prisons. So yeah, you get paid like $40,000 uh, for every person that's... Uh, no, $50,000. $50,000, and they make a fortune um, in these, these uh, like prison owners. I mean, yeah, and we're paying it, for it. it. We're it's paying horrible. for our own... Absolutely. We are paying for the stuff that our people do. So, with, I mean, then, then with medical, medical marijuana, I'm a type of individual that, I, I, you know, thank goodness I'm, I'm not in pain or anything, but uh, when I have had um, my surgeries and issues, you know, my medical issues, um, my body rejects medicine. It rejects chemicals. Um, and, and so if I were to have to, um, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, but if I had, if I had to make a choice between um, uh, popping, uh, I'm going to say morphine because it's the only thing I know right off the top of my head, now, I, I wouldn't do it. I would not do it. I would find another way. There is alternative medication, and marijuana is an alternative medicine that will not kill us. Oh, yeah. um, we have many testimonies. We have, yes, yeah. we have many chemicals, many uh, pharmaceuticals out there that uh, that uh, the warning, prescription warning says, you know, um, it will give you a heart attack. It might give you a stroke. It's definitely going to ruin your liver. What are the pharmaceutical companies doing to us? Um, they don't care what they're doing to us. They're they're profiting from our deaths. Um, we they, they kill our our our, our public here. Um, the the last pharmaceutical drug, uh, what is it called? Uh, I'm not going to say the name because I, I'm not sure of it. But stop the, the drug that helps stop smoking. Um, that patch. Nicotine well, or something like that. Yeah. It 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 gets you suicidal. Yeah. It, 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 these, Suic they, they, they have an interest of keeping that there's an uh, other groups that have interests of keeping it illegal too and and, and it's it's a, again are, are we uh, prepare, the people who can defend it or who can defend um like doing something that they might have done sometime before in their lives and, and and who can tolerate i mean there's a lot of things you know we should have a society that's filled with tolerance but the one thing we shouldn't tolerate is like um a president who can uh you know tolerate I mean, if, if I was like Bush or Obama, I'd feel such a guilty conscience of doing, make, having people go to prison for the same thing that I myself admitted doing. 
um, I, I would have to pardon those people. I mean, if, if I, I, yeah. I don't think I could live with myself, like knowing that my administration is um, putting away people for the very same thing, depriving them of opportunities that I've been able to accomplish, you know, you know um, it, it's just such a hypocritical thing. And, and for someone not to have the spine to stand up to that, who doesn't know where they stand on the issue, who's like flapping around like a, you know, flounder um, on this issue. I mean, we don't need any more of that. That's what's happened. I mean, this is a, a, the, 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 the options of selecting the lesser of two evils for this amount of time has been the de-evolution of our uh, pu you, you know, public politics. I mean, it's time that we, um, right. you, you know, got so someone who's forthright, who knows where they stand on these issues and, uh, and you know, who's going to be a good representative. What about... Um, you know, pro-choice, pro-life uh, type issues. Um, how do you feel on, on that? Well, you know, I'm, I'm a federal candidate, and um, abortion is a state-level issue, and, and, and that's just the way I feel about it. I am pro-limited government, and the, um, the less that the government gets involved in humans or people's lives, the better off all of us are going to be. Yeah, so we need definitely. to uh, restrict the government. Um, there, there are so many. There, there are so many issues out there. Uh, with, um, uh, for example, I take the pro-life position. There is an extreme uh, position out there that is not even with rape can will they um, allow um, abortion. That's or insane. not even if it's, yeah. it's the it'll you know take the life of the mother to save the life of the mother. Now, I can understand um, not having federal tax dollars go to it. That's one thing. Uh, I mean, most yeah. people probably could afford one if they really needed one, anyways, on their own. But um, uh -huh. it, it, it's it's but 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 yeah. I mean I mean the, not even the life of the mother. I, I mean that's um, or, or or rape. Uh, uh, that's. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't agree with that. I mean, I, don't, I, I just have to say, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't agree with that um, also. I think it's, it's like, are we going to have an abortion police? I mean, to me, it's one of those, personally, and you might not feel the same way, but it's one of those unenforceable laws, again, with drugs, prostitution. You might not agree with it, but, um, I mean, so, if you, so are you proposing that we, like, uh, police everyone on it? And I don't think that would be a solution. So if you're not going to do no. that, then let's go back to what we were just saying. That's, um, y y you know, it, it's the, then let's just do something completely different. And so we've gone through, you know, foreign policy, the military, um, having a strong defense, but not a... Uh, uh, a lot of military spending. I'm um, standing up to special interests, industries, big pharma, on the drug policy where we have the highest we have the highest incarceration rate. I mean, can you believe that? The land of the free, home of the brave. We have the highest incarceration rates out of any country in the world, um, including China. We have China. we have our government. Our um, our uh, representatives have been in office so long that. Um, they they forget how I I believe that they forgot how to actually run um, uh, a society maybe not even run their own household they believe in order to keep um, our country safe or to keep our country moving they have to create more government um, funded uh, agencies. Uh, for I don't know who they're trying to govern. I'm just going to shoot out one that we definitely need to get rid of is USADA, United States Agents, um, Anti-Doping Agency. is a taxpayer-funded agency where um, we are forced to pay taxes to prosecute or monitor these athletes. And all those athletes have their own association uh, and corporations that can monitor themselves. Uh, you know, they, they're, the, the athletes of these worlds make millions of dollars a year, but our federal government insists on taking taxpayer money, increasing our taxes, and monitoring, um, you know, these multi-million dollar athletes. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Um, I mean, it's it's like we should be we're talking about issues of war and peace, and then I look on C-SPAN, and there's Roger Clemens being like um, on on, tr you, you know, in a hearing in Congress. I'm like, you, you know, may, I mean, maybe there's something wrong with the, the you know, the the 
you know, the, whatever they take, uh, the steroids and stuff. But, I mean, that's not... I yeah, don't, I, don't, I don't approve of it, but, I'm, you know, yeah, I mean, heck, if they want to kill themselves, themselves, let them kill themselves, and, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not about to, to uh, support a policy that says, hey, you know, we have to monitor these athletes. No, there's an NBPA, there's an NFLPA, there's every sport has their I'm own association. Yeah. Make make them pay for them. You know, make them pay for their own monitoring of their uh, their athletes. We don't have to do that. <laughs> That's um, not. I mean, the uh, NFL is not a branch of the federal government. Believe it or not, it's, you know. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's okay for every representative and our president to 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 like sports. Great. Don't have us monitor somebody who and and uh, who's. Got billions and billions of dollars. They make millions a month. So why should we have to pay for this? It's it, 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 it's ridiculous. And 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 also another thing is like you know people might think like um you know your favorite Democrat or Republican is a nice guy or it's a nice girl. But I mean being a nice guy or a nice girl is not good enough nowadays. I mean in the situation, the state of the union that we're in. I mean we just went through like a whole list of things that are going wrong that are invading people's civil liberties that are true um, uh, freedom type issues that are actually going to free people, that are going to change people's standards of livings for the better. And, and um, I mean, if someone's just a nice person, but they don't have the spine to stand up and rep truly represent people um, against the special interests um, that, you know, are creating uh, these cartels, um, everything from the Republican and Democrat Party to the debates to, to the pharma industry and et cetera. And, and that, about the debates, um, let's say, uh, do, do, have you heard any news on that? Um, are you going to, are we, you know, when can we look forward to seeing you uh, in the debates against? Uh, well, we have a debate scheduled, I believe it's October 9th at Pima Community College here in Tucson. Um, and so I, I can't wait to participate. We've had forums, and the forums turned out very well. Um, but yeah, our first debate is going to be in October. So I can't wait for that to happen. I, I'm, I'm trying to encourage more uh, television um, organizations and, um, you know, more corporations here in Tucson and throughout the state to, to do more debates. Yeah, because only through debates are going, you know, are we going to know the candidates? There's, I know that the public is very busy, um, you know, running their own life and running their own business. A lot of people just don't get into watching stuff like that. But then, when um, the it's time to come vote, and uh, they're only going to vote for um, the name they recognize most. Now that's the issue that I have as a libertarian, a third party. Um, we don't get funded very well. Um, you know, we don't have the big uh, monies behind us like the DNC and the RNC does. But, um, you know, so I'm, I'm hoping to, for these, these debates to allow me more access to the public. Um, I'm, you know, I've, I've been calling the TVs and the radio announcers, trying to get interviews. i got to give you a short, um, a, a, a quick um, uh, commentary. Uh, we did this forum. Um, in um, in Santa Cruz County about two months ago. And they put, we had um, three Democrats, two Republicans, and myself. That's, well, on to the three, four, five, six people. Can you believe this? My picture was not put up there. Everybody else's picture, the Democrats and the Republicans' picture was put up there on the, in the top of the uh, column there. Except for mine. That's an issue I'm in itself. That's a. It, that's. I mean. That's something. That, that's also a campaign issue that I would bring up. Um, and uh, I mean, that's a type of uh, chicanery that's going on nowadays. I mean, that 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 in your face type of. Um, uh, just uh, you know, like mob type of um, act activity. It's almost like they're acting like a, a, a mob. Like they, they they don't want people to have the information. Of course, we can't make fully informed decisions unless if we know all our facts. And that also has to go with transparency too. I mean, just the fact that someone feel like they would have the rights to to do something like that to another person. If they do that to you, 
they do that to us. And, and um, so sometimes, um, you know, I would champion that. I would champion that with the same kind of fervor and passion as if they were doing it to someone else that you really cared about. Because sometimes we tend to uh, champion things, uh, you know, if it's not us. But but, we, but you really should because when you're championing that about yourself, I mean, you're really championing it about everyone else because, I mean, it's, it's the old saying, do unto others. I mean, what or what comes around goes around. Um, and uh, if, if that's going to happen to, 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 to Blanca in the debates, that's going to happen to you as, as well. Um, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. So that's an issue in itself about uh, just an equal playing field and in transparency. I mean, uh, I mean, we, we don't have all the facts. Sometimes I hesitate to say some of the things I say because I don't even know what's going on. And, 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 and that's because I don't feel like there is much transparency in the government. And, um, and it's because we've been electing the lesser of two evils. It's a de-evolution of our uh, uh, p political um, uh, pool out there. And, and that's why we need to get some new, fresh people in, in, in there. And um, now... Uh, uh, about um, let's see here. Uh, I see on the your page on national security. You say here, uh, speak softly, carry big stick. That's uh, Teddy Roosevelt saying, and and that's a that's a good way of looking at that. And now, um, what about? Um, uh, what about transparency in government? I mean, it seems like the cameras are not us. There's a police state apparatus. Um, and then I'll also ask you about the uh, immigration reform like that you put on there and, and what you think about that, because they can kind of go together. I mean, I think a lot of um, what people say is like uh, it, 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 if what, whatever happens to um, certain individuals, it's it, it, like if, if we allow people to be indefinitely detained, like, which is what happened with like the National Defense Authorization Act, which uh, uh, uh -huh. of this last year, I mean, it's eventually going to come around to everybody. Um, it's just a matter of time and absolute that power. Correct. Groups, absolutely. I mean, so, I mean, hey, if, if, if you can tolerate whatever you can tolerate happening to other people, I mean, you're tolerating it for yourself, really. All right. I believe that the immigration um, uh, reform have, has not come to pass for the same reason of um, uh, the cartels haven't been uh, quashed. There is money in private prisons. And not only do we have the highest amount of inmates that are, you know, um, are doing time for marijuana, but now we are also paying, our tax dollars are paying for incarcerating, um, I, I'm, I'm not going to say that they're innocent because anybody who comes into the U.S. has committed a crime. But you know what, when, when um, uh, anybody gets a citation, a traffic citation, if you receive a citation, that means that you have committed a crime. But um, we... Uh, are allowed to pay fines, um, you know, even if we have to do a little bit of uh, paying our fees, we pay them and then we would become legal. I propose that um, our immigration reform, we allow undocumented individuals to register. We fingerprint them, we register them, we make them pay their fees and their fines for the crimes they have committed, and then we allow them to start in a clean slate. They're registered if they want if they want to go and become a citizen. And that's, a, I tell you, 50% of the people undocumented who don't want to become a citizen, but they don't want to leave this country because it's hard to get back into it again. So if we could just register the people, have them pay their fines and their fees, our government would have a revenue. Um, then they can start uh, helping stimulate the economy. Uh, they can start to go back home if they wish to, and then you know travel back to the states maybe just to to work and migrant um, you know these uh, harvest uh, harvest times, and then they they can pay taxes while they're working here, and then they can go home. And if we and, ended and, the uh, drug war here. I mean, I, I mean, you could argue there's a lot of political turmoil in, 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 in Mexico right now and also throughout, um, you know, Central America, South America because of the drug war. I mean, if we 
d declared an end to the drug war, wouldn't that like be a um, a good effect to Mexico? Because then that would um, dry up their cartels, um, which would yeah. make a lot of people there feel safer um, and, and make that country more prosperous. So, I mean, eventually, um, you know, we'll be, you know, North America be three sovereign countries, not part of any North America, you, you know, the you know one country or anything right. like the Euro. But at the same time, It'd be great if all three of us were very prosperous. We can all enjoy each other's beaches and 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 and, and you know enjoy tourism and prosperity, you know, and freedom. Absolutely, I mean, absolutely. I mean, there's nothing more. I mean, yeah. Our our, our um, defense, our military individuals uh, can track down Osama bin Laden and destroy him, and we can quash out the all those uh, terrorists in other nations. You don't think that the United States knows and uh, where and whom these cartels are? Why is it that they're not destroying them? Oh, because if they did, then um, you know they'd be out of a job. And uh, exactly, I mean, you know, yeah. exactly, they, they should would be, be out, out of one anyways. Yeah, I, I, it's, yeah it's, well, absolutely. Well, what, I'm, I'm tired of paying other people's ta uh, pensions forever. Our representatives will not even allow uh, the modernization of their pension. Yeah, this is Why? a real because choice. I mean, and, and and I mean, if anything, if anything, let's say, it, it, I would even compromise saying like, you, you know, it because it would be a better situation. Like, let's give you a transitional job because I know it is hard. You probably did have some budgeting that that you did for your house. So here's a ten-year transitional job that um, will help you wean off the, the other jobs so, so that you can get yeah. another one back into the private sector. But this time, instead of raiding people's houses without a warrant and, and probable cause and stuff like that, um, you'll be um, doing something productive, like maybe, um, I, I don't know, but, but something productive. I mean, picking up litter or, or whatever it is, you know, um, and, uh, but just something, something that's doing a positive thing instead of a, a negative thing, May, maybe helping re rebuild some of those houses that, that, that were and uh, and, yeah. and and helping those people or something like that, um, or maybe yeah, Habitat yeah. for Humanity, like have them work for Habitat for Humanity and, and build houses for the poor for like ten years, you know? I mean, something like that. Anything, well, anything. anything. Yeah. I believe that our, our our government employees should also have term limits, you know. Um, and they should ten have years applied. working for the government, yeah. you're out of there, you know. You you you've got a savings. We have so many options for our government employees now. If they don't want to, if they, you know, don't want to put into their pension, okay, then you save your own money. You work for our government 10 years. Thank you very much for your service. And ciao. Um, you know, you go work on your own. Go work for somebody else. Well, I, I, I have to say, so some people might, you know, it, 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 who knows? I mean, they could be on the eighth year or ninth year and all of a sudden just have a kid. and got, but, but I guess that's their own personal planning that they could have prepared for. Yeah. But, um, but, you know, it just depends. I mean, th there might be some people that do do a good job, but that goes with your term limits thing, and I understand that. I mean, probably in the bigger picture it, it might help out. Uh, but then again, I mean, there are some people that, you know, that could be in the FBI that have a lot of experience as as well and might be able to. I mean, we here's another. We, we need to let people who are whistleblowers, I think, um, whistleblow without, uh, you know, getting um, mm -hmm. trouble. They're, they're also, we need to find a way to promote the good people and, and not promote the, the, the bad people. I mean, there were, like, for, for example, the FBI agents that were warning us of 9-11 before that happened. We should have promoted those people yeah. instead. They ended up getting fired. And, and, and the people yeah. that, 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 you know, were sleep at the wheel they ended up getting promoted now why do you, why would that happen i mean I, I i don't know but that's a whole another thing it's it's so so that's crazy i mean and, and and some of it was because of their experience or but but you know that that's an that that's probably not something they'd really have to worry about but at least the, the harmful agencies that are really violating people's rights like the dea and stuff like that the atf um uh, and, 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 you know, some of the ones, the, the, basically the ones where people carry guns and, and, and can confiscate things. Um, and, uh, oh, yeah, they love to intimidate. They love to intimidate the public because they, they feel they're above the law. Why? Because they wear a badge. There are so many government agencies, including state agencies, um, uh, that, that need, well, for example, I, like I say, I believe that any government employee should have um, term limits. I do, I'm a paralegal, and I've done a law for 
gosh, going on 30 years now. And one of the biggest issues that I have is uh, Child Protective Services. Now, CPS is good, but you know, we are human. And when you are in a position of power for a long time, um, and you have a mental or personal issues yourself, you also become power hungry. You become uh, such an intimidator. Uh, you become a controller where these people are, uh, I'm not saying they, they're all bad, but they make too many bad mistakes. Well, there's a lot of they bad incentives. Th there's quotas. That's another problem. A lot of these agencies, um, whether it's police or CPS, they probably have quotas because that's another thing if they don't you know have their numbers and they're not justifying their worth and so we need to get That's rid of right. that i mean what they should feel like if they're not having the numbers may hey maybe they're doing a good job and and, and uh yeah you, you know, agree. instead and, and uh and so there needs to be more oversight more accountability transparency there needs to be a way for people to to file grievances um i mean more checks and balances i mean like real structural strong checks and balances where people can't you know, become a victim of just becoming another number. They have a way, a fail safe, and that's what we have in the Congress. Every two years, we can elect a new house, and, and, and that's why it was put in there. It's called the, it's the people's house for that very reason, because every two years we do, it's the emergency breaks that the Constitution put in in case we ever needed uh -huh. it, and, and there couldn't be a more time here. Now, um, now just in closing here, we, uh, and I will give you an opportunity if there's anything I forgot, but one thing we usually ask people is, um, you know, who are some of your favorites? Uh, I, it doesn't even have to be favorite. It could be people you despise or, or like, but just people that you've been thinking about find interesting, whether it's nowadays or in history or, or you know, or just whatever um, um, that's on your mind lately and, uh, and, and why, Blanca? Oh, people that I find interesting. <clears throat> uh, I guess one of my uh, favorite well, that I have found interesting, and I do appreciate, and more recently, I got to say GW, um, George W. Bush. And um, uh, the reason why I felt that he was, um, or I appreciated him for a while, is because when he, he came in office, <clears throat> uh, Bill Clinton had cut our budget um, and our military so extreme that we had uh, a plus. We had money in the government. Mm -hmm. And GW said, okay, you know what? The government is for the people. This money is just sitting here. Oh, gosh, yes. And uh, during the Clinton era, our representatives gave themselves an annual increase. It's written for them that they can have their increase every single year. Well, uh, you know, I, I don't think that, that Clinton um, had any foresight to see this. Hey, you know, sometimes we have money and then sometimes we need more money than we have. Um, but at the time that GW came into office, we had a surplus. We had some money. So he gave it to the people as a stimulus. I thought that was fantastic for a president to think about the, 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 the people that were suffering, that didn't have any money. So. I gave him kudos for that. Then he also, um, I forget which year, but there he had a speech that says that there is, um, he, he stated that he had knowledge that around the world that if everybody united, the U.S. people united, that we could stop this famine and these wars. Now, that to me was an individual who was trying to bring unity to our nation. Um, now, you and, know, a lot of people are, you, you know, not big fans of George W. Bush. I oh, mean, I know. Yeah. I know. Oh, I, I, I realize that. But, you know, there's, you, you can't win them all. Right. Um, but but so just, just the reason that he felt that the taxpayers should get back their money, that was a wonderful thing. And nobody really appreciated that. Nobody, uh, you know, everybody took the stimulus money and they said, yay, 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 but nobody gave him credit to, to, to say that it was he that thought of the people to give back the money instead of the representatives putting it in their own pocket. Well, just in the okay. sake of honest, just, uh, you know, honest conversation, which we're all about, and I do appreciate you sharing 
that I, I would just say it's it's possible that you know it was kind of I think it was before an election cycle and um, I mean maybe, maybe I'm wrong on that on that date but I mean it, it's it's money that was um, and you're right you're right we, we should give the money back to the people I totally agree with that and I agree with the sentiment of what you're saying um, but I mean a lot of it probably was borrowed and 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 we had to pay interest to it to China or something. yeah yeah. But, um, no, no, yeah, I agree, but at the same time, it, you know, we were borrowing it, we're paying the interest, the taxpayers are paying the interest, but who's keeping the money? Um, that's, if that's TW didn't give too. it back to us, yeah. he would, all the representatives would have lined their pocket. You're right, you're right, because if we didn't get it, it, it would have gone to someone else anyways. Um, and, yeah, and it, so, would, it would have gone back to all those energy people, all the all the big money, um, all those interest groups. No, you're looking at the big money. picture, which I appreciate. Actually, let me correct that. It, it's um, something I said there because, I mean, it really is all about a transfer of wealth. I mean, there really is the same pool of money no matter what. It's just what percentage of, of uh, people have it. And right now, it definitely isn't the people. It seems like it's going to special interests and, and then the it banks. It sure and is. Everything. It sure yeah. is. No special interest groups are giving it to the representatives who are going to vote their way. Well, you know, it, it, we're tired. I mean, the people are really tired. Like you said, this is the year for some other party other than the DNC or the RNC. And if and what we really need is more people like you to um, interview the independents and libertarians. Get away from the GOP and the DNC. Um, you know, we have to think about you know, the, this. The... Uh, what what uh, caricatures represent the parties? We have an elephant that represents the G, uh, the GOP. We have a jackass that represents the Democrats, and we have Lady Liberty that represents the Libertarian Party. Yeah. What is? I have nothing against know, elephants what, and mules, but 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 I mean it's exactly. almost insult, it's it's insulting to the elephant and the mule. I'll, I'll say that you know. <laughs> I agree. I agree. And then you think about this. I mean, the, the GOP and the DNC are doing just that. The elephant is a herd animal. The donkey yes. is also a herd animal. And if you don't fit within their herd, you're not a part of them and they're not going to think about you. That's absolutely right. Yeah, I mean, we're not animals. At, at, we're not supposed to be animals at all, anyways. And um, and and that's that's the whole like uh, being is trying to build ourselves above where we actually can get together, have a constitution, agree on certain uh, inalienable individual rights that we all have equally under the law, and, and and then basically work it out from there with a balance of power, oversight, and and, and that where people aren't treated as a number, um, you know, basically. And 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 so, well, um. Blanca, it's, it's been a, a pleasure. Now, let me ask you, is there any um, subjects um, and issues that I haven't brought up yet? Um, and and I, I was just going to say something funny in closing. May, maybe the 2012, everyone's talking about 2012. Maybe the Mayans were saying, you, you know, it's it's it, at the end of 2012, it's going to be the end of the Republicans and the Democrats. Maybe that's all it is. Oh, that and, is great. And, and that that itself, would be a fantastic idea. Yeah, that would be earth-shattering in itself. Um, and like Maybe it's a cycle of uh, cleaning up our politics. Um, and, and because, I mean, well, you know that that's a, a, a huge thing and a real reason to celebrate. Um, now, um, anything I, I didn't touch on yet that that's um, you know that's on your uh, issues list or, or whatever that's uh, you'd like to. I, I think you covered everything really well. I appreciate you calling me, and I appreciate the time that you've given me. Um, I, I hope that people listen uh, to these interviews. I hope that people take um, your advice. 2012 is a year that we quash, that the DNC and the GOP are destroyed. Um, we do need an independent, or a libertarian. We need a third party in our government because um, those two that are controlling it right now, the left and the right, um, are just representing their party. They're not representing the people. Yeah, They're not representing the special US. interests that think those special interests that think they've won, that think um, you, you know democracy is dead. Let's show them that they have another thing coming. Let's let's have them witness the full power of this fully armed and operational, democratically constitutional republic, and um, and and that's this uh, November 6, 2012. And, um, well, uh, Blanca, it's been a pleasure. I'll say goodbye to you real quick after the interview. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you have an excellent uh, weekend. Thank you, Tommy. Have a great one.